Welcome to the History Forge. Today's video is about what was the diet of early humans one million years ago. Let's dive in. Understanding the diet of early humans from one million years ago is crucial for gaining insights into human evolution and adaptation. During this period, early Homo species, such as Homo erectus, inhabited diverse environments across the globe, including Africa, Asia, and Europe. Their diet played a pivotal role in their survival and development, shaping their physiological characteristics and cultural practices. By exploring the foods they consumed and the methods they used to obtain them, such as hunting large game or gathering wild plants, we can uncover valuable information about their lifestyles, social structures, and cognitive abilities. This investigation into their dietary patterns offers a glimpse into how early humans adapted to different environments, managed food resources, and evolved over time. Early humans one million years ago were predominantly represented by species like Homo erectus, known for their upright stature and increasing reliance on tool use. Homo erectus had a widespread geographical distribution, spanning from Africa to parts of Asia and Europe. They inhabited a variety of environments ranging from savannas and grasslands to woodlands and semi-arid regions. This adaptability suggests their capacity to exploit diverse ecosystems for resources crucial to their survival and development. Their presence across different continents also indicates significant migration patterns and the ability to cope with varying climatic conditions, highlighting their evolutionary success during this period of human prehistory. Archaeological evidence provides valuable insights into the diet of early humans one million years ago. Excavations have unearthed a variety of tools and artifacts, including finely crafted stone tools such as hand axes and cleavers. These tools were essential for activities like butchering animals and processing plant materials, indicating a diet that included both animal and plant-based foods. Additionally, the analysis of fossilized remains has contributed significantly to our understanding. Dental morphology studies reveal where patterns that suggest a diet rich in tough, fibrous foods like meat and possibly some plant materials. Stable isotope analysis of bones and teeth provides clues about the types of foods consumed and the environments early humans inhabited. For instance, Carbon and nitrogen isotopes can indicate whether individuals primarily consumed terrestrial animals or relied more on marine resources. Together, these archaeological findings paint a picture of early humans as adaptable and resourceful beings, capable of utilizing tools to procure and process a diverse range of foods in order to sustain themselves in various environments. Early humans one million years ago engaged in hunting and gathering practices that were integral to their survival and adaptation. Hunting strategies included cooperative hunting, where groups of individuals worked together to capture large game animals. This collaborative effort not only increased the efficiency of acquiring meat, but also likely played a role in social bonding and sharing within the community. In addition to hunting, Gathering practices involved the collection of wild plants, fruits, and nuts. Early humans foraged for a variety of plant-based foods depending on seasonal availability and local environments. This gathering of plant resources supplemented their diet with essential nutrients, vitamins, and carbohydrates. The ability to gather a diverse array of plant foods also demonstrated early humans' knowledge of their surroundings and their ability to exploit natural resources sustainably. Overall, hunting and gathering were complementary strategies that early humans employed to ensure a balanced and nutritious diet. These practices not only provided essential sustenance, but also shaped social dynamics and cultural behaviors within early human communities. Animal protein was a crucial component of the diet of early humans one million years ago, providing essential nutrients and energy for their survival and development. They obtained animal protein from various sources, including large game animals such as deer, elephants, and bison, which were hunted using stone tools like hand axes and spears. 
The presence of cut marks and fractures on animal bones found at archaeological sites indicates butchery and processing activities by early humans to access meat. In addition to large game, early humans also hunted small game animals like rabbits and birds, which provided additional sources of protein. Fishing was another important method of obtaining animal protein, particularly in regions near rivers, lakes, and coastlines. Evidence from archaeological sites often includes fish bones and shellfish remains, suggesting that aquatic resources were also exploited for dietary protein. The combination of hunting large and small game animals, along with fishing activities, demonstrates the adaptability and resourcefulness of early humans in securing animal protein from diverse environments. This protein-rich diet was essential for their physical growth, cognitive development, and overall health during a period marked by significant evolutionary changes. Early humans one million years ago consumed a variety of plant-based foods as part of their diet, reflecting their adaptation to diverse environments and seasonal availability of resources. They gathered a range of plant foods that included tubers, underground storage organs such as roots and tubers, these plant-based foods were vital components of their diet for several reasons. Nutritional diversity. Plants provided a wide array of essential nutrients, including vitamins, like vitamin C from fruits, minerals, and dietary fibers that supported overall health and well-being. Energy source. Carbohydrates from tubers and seeds supplied energy needed for daily activities and metabolic functions. Seasonal adaptation. The availability of different plant foods throughout the year allowed early humans to adapt their diets to seasonal changes and environmental conditions. Cultural significance. Gathering and processing plant foods likely played a role in social interactions, food sharing, and cultural practices within early human communities. Overall, the inclusion of plant-based foods in their diet contributed to the nutritional balance and resilience of early humans complementing the protein obtained from animal sources and showcasing their ability to exploit a wide range of natural resources for sustenance. Seasonality had a profound impact on the diet of early humans one million years ago, influencing the availability and variety of foods they could gather and hunt throughout the year. In regions with distinct seasons, such as temperate zones and savannas, the availability of plant foods, fruits, and certain animal species varied significantly from one season to another. During warmer months and periods of plenty, early humans would have had access to a diverse range of plant foods, including fruits, berries, and tubers that were abundant and ripe for harvesting. These provided essential vitamins, minerals, and carbohydrates crucial for their diet. Additionally, certain animal species might have been more accessible during these times, as they migrated or were more active due to favorable conditions. Conversely, in colder or drier seasons, plant foods might have been scarcer, requiring early humans to adapt their diet and hunting strategies accordingly. They might have relied more on stored foods, such as dried fruits or seeds, or focused on hunting animals that were still available year-round or had adapted to survive in harsher conditions. Adaptations in diet were closely tied to the local environment early humans inhabited. For example, those living near rivers or coastlines might have had greater access to fish and shellfish year-round, while those in more arid regions might have concentrated on hunting animals adapted to desert conditions or collecting drought-resistant plant foods. Overall, the ability of early humans to adapt their diet to seasonal changes and local environmental conditions reflected their resourcefulness and resilience, enabling them to thrive in a wide range of habitats and ecological niches across the continents they inhabited. Early humans one million years ago exhibited cultural and social behaviors related to food that provided insights into their social structures and interactions within communities. Evidence suggests that sharing and communal eating were significant practices among them. Sharing of food was likely a fundamental aspect of early human societies, promoting cooperation and social cohesion within groups. Archaeological findings, such as communal hearths and distributions of butchered animal remains across sites, 
indicate that early humans engaged in collective hunting and shared the resulting food resources. This communal sharing of hunted or gathered food could have fostered reciprocal relationships, strengthened alliances, and ensured the survival of all members within the group, regardless of individual hunting success. Moreover, food had ritualistic and symbolic importance among early humans. Ritual behaviors related to food consumption, such as ceremonial feasting or specific preparations of food items, might have served social or religious purposes. For example, the deliberate shaping or decoration of utensils and vessels used for food preparation and consumption suggests symbolic meanings associated with food practices. These rituals likely reinforced group identity, cultural traditions, and possibly beliefs related to the spiritual or supernatural aspects of food and sustenance. Overall, the cultural and social aspects of food among early humans not only reflected their adaptive strategies for survival, but also provided a window into the development of complex social behaviors and cultural practices that laid the foundation for later human societies. Studying the diet of early humans one million years ago offers insights into their nutritional balance and health outcomes, providing contrasts and comparisons with modern diets and health indicators. Early humans' diet, consisting of a combination of animal protein from hunted game and plant-based foods such as tubers, seeds, and fruits, likely provided a balanced intake of essential nutrients. The consumption of lean meats provided protein, fats, and crucial vitamins like B12, while plant foods contributed carbohydrates, fiber, vitamins, and minerals. This diverse diet supported their physical growth, cognitive development, and overall health during a period marked by significant evolutionary changes. In contrast, modern diets often include processed foods high in sugars, unhealthy fats, and low in fiber, which can lead to various health issues such as obesity, diabetes, and cardiovascular diseases. Early humans, by contrast, likely had a lower incidence of such diseases due to their reliance on natural in summary, the diet of early humans one million years ago was characterized by a diverse range of foods obtained through hunting and gathering. They consumed animal protein from large game and fish, supplemented by plant-based foods such as tubers, seeds, and fruits. This balanced diet provided essential nutrients, supported physical development, and contributed to their survival and adaptation across different environments. Understanding early human diets is significant as it offers insights into our evolutionary past and the adaptive strategies that shaped human development. By examining how early humans obtained, processed, and consumed food, we gain a deeper understanding of their behavioral capabilities, social structures, and cultural practices. The ability to secure adequate nutrition through hunting, gathering and communal sharing played a crucial role in their ability to thrive and expand across diverse landscapes. Moreover, insights from early human diets have implications for understanding human evolution and dietary adaptations. They highlight our species' ability to adapt to changing environments, utilize diverse food resources, and develop complex social behaviors related to food consumption. Studying these ancient diets also provides context for evaluating modern dietary practices and their impact on health and sustainability. In conclusion, the study of early human diets not only sheds light on our evolutionary heritage, but also offers lessons for improving contemporary nutrition and promoting sustainable food systems. It underscores the importance of dietary diversity, balanced nutrition and cultural practices in shaping human health and well-being throughout history and into the future.